You know, I like getting gifts. Who likes getting gifts? Anybody? Anybody not raising your hand? You're a liar. <laughs> Face it. Or your arm's sore, or if you didn't hear me, whatever. But I like getting gifts. I mean, think about it. Christmas, birthdays. An unexpected gift. Boy, those are really kind of special, aren't they? It's a gaining of a possession. And hopefully it's a possession that you like, that you want, that will be useful or enjoyable. But, you know, I have something now. There was a gift, and now it's mine. And I can do whatever I want with it. And maybe I'll use it for the white elephant uh, next Christmas because I really don't like it. Or maybe I'll put it someplace prominent, whatever it is, but now it's yours. And, you, you know, you're usually careful about re-gifting to make sure you re-gift it in the right context, unless it's the white elephant, then that's okay. Or you break it out if it's from sweet Aunt Minnie, and you break it out and put it on display when she comes by, and then you put it back in the drawer. But it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it, any one of those things and a million other things. And some people think of spiritual gifts in the same way. Oh, I have a spiritual gift. It's mine. I get to use it any way I want. I get to choose when I use this spiritual gift and how I use it because it's mine. God gave it to me. Now it's mine. But that's not what the scripture just told us. And that's a fundamental understanding of this whole idea about spiritual gifts, that there are many people who are exactly in the place where the Corinthians were. 